Thank you, Mr. Mayor. These nationally imposed cuts are wrong, and Greens oppose them. Eric Pickles and the Conservative-led government are wrong. They're wrong to impose these cuts on us. They're wrong to impose cuts on local services. They make no economic and they make no common sense either. Nationally imposed cuts on our budget are wrong. But we are not helpless, Mr Mayor. There's a right way and there's a wrong way to deal with these cuts. The Tory way, Mr Mayor, is the wrong way. What fairness and compassion is there in ripping out a cycle lane at the cost of £1.1 million while slashing frontline services for young and old? That, Mr Mayor, is the wrong way. It's not just a wrong budget, Mr Mayor. It's a budget done in the wrong way. It's the most secretive budget imaginable, with late papers, with officers told not to speak to opposition members, and with the scrutiny, not even having cabinet members to speak to them. Uh, Councillor Mears, what is your point of order? I would like clarification around the remark that Councillor Pitcat has just made. He has referred to this administration stopping officers talking to opposition members, and I would like that clarified now, please. Thank you, Councillor Mears. Could we... Would you like to continue, please? But, I'll, but could you Thank leave you, officers Mayor. out of this? This is the most secretive. Officers. We're, de we're, we're debating the budget, not officers. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. I asked for a clarification. Ms. Councillor Kitka has made a, a, a comment, a remark, that this administration stopped officers speaking to opposition members. And I would like Councillor Kitka to clarify that, please. Would you like to clarify that, Councillor Kitkat? Can we have some quiet, please? Can we have some quiet, please? Councillor Mears has asked for clarification. Are you willing to give that? Mr Mayor, um, a clarification is not a constitutional item. If uh, Councillor Mayors, if Councillor Mayors wants to make a point of order, a point of personal clarification herself, then that is your discretion to accept that or not, Mr Mayor. Well, look. Can, can, we just, can we just stick to the budget, please? I'm happy your to, spiel, Mr. Mayor. And leave do no mention of officers. And that, please, right in the chamber. Mr. Mayor. Councillor Kitkat. Mr. Mayor. The, <laughs> may I continue? You may. Thank you. We warned many times that the budget, as the Tories proposed, would not pass. And yet, still, we are told that printing of the council tax bill is scheduled for tomorrow. So we're being put under pressure unreasonably. What I would like to propose tonight, Mr Mayor, is we are more than happy to resolve on this side to vote on freezing the council tax so that the bills can go out and we can discuss the rest of the budget properly when we have the full information. And there will be no problem with the printers in that way. But Greens will not support this wrong-headed Tory budget, Mr Mayor. If defeated tonight, this budget then we will seek another Budget Council in a week, Mr Mayor. We'll use the time to open up this budget to find out the true details that have been withheld from us this far. We'll involve the unions and the public in trying to pull it apart and understand what's really going on here. Could I have some quiet? Quiet, please. And then, Mr Mayor, we'll set a better, a fairer budget just like the one that we've set out in our Green Amendments. The Green Alternative Budget, Mr Mayor, prioritises an open, democratic, sustainable, healthy city. We say the right way to set a budget is by putting fairness, compassion and sustainability at the top of our list. The right way, Mr Mayor, is to spend half a million on a feed-in tariff scheme that will reduce energy bills for residents, reduce carbon emissions and create a whole new revenue scheme for this council just when we're facing more cuts. The right way is to be responsible with money and put some money back into reserves because we know the cuts are still coming. The right way, Mr Mayor, is restoring services for young and old alike, such as daycare centres, connections, Mr Mayor, and not a cynical tax cut, not parking fee cuts, but putting almost a million pounds back into services for children, families and young people. That's the right way, Mr Mayor. The 
right way is reducing the number of high-paid staff this council has and using the money <laughs> instead. David Councillor, would you, would you please not bring officers into this debate? Thank you. Mr Mayor, I have a constitutional right to free speech and um, I'm referring to the management structures and no individual, the no individuals are being brought into discussion. We would use the money saved from changing the management structures to keep frontline services going, Mr Mayor, because I believe it can't be right that when key services such as for orphans, the elderly or the vulnerable are being cut by this Tory budget, we're keeping such high paid staff in place. Yeah. Greens say, Greens say, I've asked Please you, say. please do not mention staff. No, this, this is, well, this we is, can mention staff do, cuts, can we? Uh, we can no. save 250 posts to you, these you're asking, Then you're asking for redundancies, then. Greens say, Mr Mayor, there should be less food and less allowances for councillors. <laughs> less food and less allowances for councillors. Less grass birch mowing, Mr Mayor. But more noise patrols, more planners for economic development, more public services protected. That's what the Green Budget Amendments are about, Mr Mayor. That's the right way. The wrong way is this Tory budget. We would urge members to support our amendments and to oppose this Tory cut budget. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Kit -Kat. Before I go on, before I let the next speaker, could I just say that the purpose of today's debate is to set the budget. Um, they have already been statements made and uh, that, is not, that is not relevant uh, and it will not help us with the debate today. Can I therefore ask members to stick to the budget and refrain from making references to the actions of senior officers? Thank you. I now call on Councillor Randall, convener of the Green Group, to respond and second their amendment. Thank you, Councillor Randall. I'd like to begin, Mr Mayor, by saying that Councillor Kitkat did not refer to any officers. He was talking about the structure of the council and he was making the point uh, that the structure of the council is top heavy with overpaid officers and we should be looking at the structure again to make sure we can preserve frontline services and make those p sure those people at the bottom we get a fairer wage Randall, than they get at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to continue? Would you like to continue with what I asked you just to Certainly. convene of the Green Group? Would you respond and second the amendments, please? Right, well, I would like to support everything that Councillor Kitkat said. Uh, I'm not asking you for support. Would you just carry on and do, use your second, please? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr Mayor. I will just then refer to one or two of the things in our budget which I think are of great importance and which we should talk about. We have £232,000 in our budget to reverse the cuts in the Communities and Equalities Team budget to protect the vital work of the voluntary sector in the most hard-pressed communities in this city. The work with early intervention with young people, for example, is particularly important. And the importance of these early interventions is also the reason why we're putting £91,000 back into the youth offending services. The £200,000 for school and community teams will reverse some of the savings proposed for ed educational psychology and education welfare services and the £250,000 for the school improvement service will reverse the proposed cut in the service that has been responsible for driving forward standards across the city and provide an extra 180000 to support and work. We also would like to see and we hope we'll get support for the 100000 to reverse part of the £390,000 cut in the community care budget. In this instance, like so many others, we are very doubtful that this administration's promise efficiency can be achieved in this important sector without suffering and affecting the wealth of vulnerable people. And this is true also of the need to put 100k back into some daycare services, where we think it's premature to cut services before we can be sure that the huge expectations the administration has of the personalisation agenda are realised. I used the word expectations there. I mean, this budget really that the Tories have given us is a budget of great expectations, but will lead to hard times for many people who live in this city. So I would urge all of those people in this chamber to support our amendments, which are fair 
and give a better deal to more people in the city. If you take, for instance, the council tax reduction, small as it is, that will benefit most those people who are better off, who live in bigger houses, who will get a bigger reduction. And that simply is not fair. I urge you to support what we've put forward. Thank you, Councillor Randall. I now, I now open the, the debate.